what's up warriors how we doing i wanted to put together this little video for you and show you that jesus is in the old testament and he's in the book of isaiah he's in other places too but i wanted to focus on the book of isaiah right now so in the book of isaiah it says in the year king uzziah died um isaiah was in the throne room and the lord of glory his whole robe filled the temple right and above him was the seraphim it describes what these seraphim look like and the seraphim, they come down, they come flying down and um, they're singing, holy, holy, ho holy. And, and the sound thunders the foundations. And Isaiah beholds this and he says, woe is me. I'm a man of unclean lips in the, in the, in the midst of people that are unclean. And so one of these seraphim, they take these tongs and they grab these coals. And that particular angel uh, puts the burning coals to his mouth. And he tells him that your sins are atoned for. He tells him that you, you are you are cleansed of your sin, essentially. So Isaiah, um, in that throne room, he sees God, right? But if you look further down the road in the New Testament in, in John 12, in John 12, um, in the context of John 12 and this particular part, you see um, it's, it's the portion where Jesus is praying to the Father and he says, glorify your name. And he says, I have glorified it or I have glorified it. And he tells the people that essentially judgment's coming and the king of this world is going to be cast out. He's talking about he's talking about Satan in that context. And he tells them that I'm going to be lifted up. The son of man is going to be lifted up. And these people knew what he was talking about. And they were, they were thinking, what is, what is he talking about? He's going to be lifted up. We, we thought that the Christ was going to live forever. And the reason why they were saying this was to fulfill prophecy, was to fulfill, to fulfill Isaiah saying that, God has blinded their eyes. These people have blind eyes. And then it goes further to tell us um, that this is whom Isaiah saw. In John 12, 41, it tells us, for this is whom Isaiah saw. So in the context of that, it's talking about Jesus. So who did Isaiah see in the throne room? He saw Jesus. Because um, if you look at other passages, it tells us that no one has seen God at any time except he who was from God. It tells us that in John 1, 18, it says that in John 1, 18, that, that Jesus um, is from the, he, he, he's been with the Father. It says no one has seen God at any time. The only God, the monogenes theos, he has made him known. And if you look at the whole context of John 1, it says that Jesus has always been with God from the beginning. He has been prostone theon, face to face with God. From as far back as you want to go, he's always been there. That Jesus is uncreated, that he is God himself. And we also know the famous passage from the Old Testament, uh, John 1, 10, 1. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make all your enemies a footstool for your feet. The Lord said to my Lord. So Jesus has always been with the Father in loving relationship with him. And we also have other passages in, in John 6, where it tells us that no one has seen the Father except he who is from God. No one has seen the Father except Jesus. He's the only one that has seen him. So this makes total sense that this is who people were seeing in the Old Testament. They were seeing a pre-incarnate Christ. And I believe that's who Moses saw in the burning bush, because Jesus claims to be I am. He says, before Abraham was, I am. And in Moses, in, in Moses, in Exodus 3.14, it tells us that with that God in the burning bush says, tell them I am sent you. And that Greek word is ego I me. Jesus invokes that same exact word in John 8.24 and John 8.58, where he says in John 8.24, unless you believe I am, ego I me, you will perish in your sins. When Moses asks God at the burning bush, who should I say sent me? He says, tell them ego I me sent you. So in these instances in the Old Testament, we are seeing a, a Christophany. We are seeing Jesus in the Old Testament, a pre-incarnate Christ. But today I want to show you that Jesus is in the Old Testament in Isaiah 6, because John tells us so. The one whom Jesus loved, who is closest to Jesus by his heart, he's the one that tells us in John 12 that Jesus was in Isaiah 6. So anyway, I hope that video helped you today. I hope, you, I hope it stirs something in your heart and it causes you to investigate this a little bit more. I think it's a fun study and it will definitely bless you. So anyway, Warriors, um, hope you like this video. Please like it, leave a comment, share it if you would, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps with the algorithm when you do all those things, right? So anyway, I uh, gotta get rolling, but here at Warrior Chamber Studios, we are soldiers, slaves, and priests for Christ. All right, love you guys. See you on the next one.